Greetings to you, hello, it is V from V Loving Crystals and V Loving Tarot, hope you're well. Today's pick a card reading is on something that people kept asking me to do for like a year now. And this is called Next in Love LGBTQ Plus Edition. So this is like the second video that I did. Um, I also did the series, the Are You Gay, Are You Bisexual, Are You... Uh, straight series so if you want to check that out I do have that on my channel maybe I'll make it a separate playlist if you want more of these videos please do uh, let me know in the comments so these are for you friends who are in the community so so all right so pile one you have the men's a broken heart fairy healing from heartache just look at the images for right now I'm not sure if the words are gonna mean anything until we get into your reading pile two what's coming next in love for the L GBTQ plus community. Pile number two. Sea storm. Okay, pile number three. What's coming next in love for you? Oh, and you have I am Kali. So, Kali, sorry. All right, so these are your your toppers. Figure out which one you think holds your message just by looking at the images, going with your intuition. <clears throat> Timestamps are always below if you're looking for your your pile. If you want to skip ahead, yeah, find the timestamps. If you want to pause the video, you can do so and marinate more with these cards. And I'll see you over in the piles, pile one, pile two, pile three. Alright, pile one, you chose this heart right here. It looks like a fairy holding her heart, her mended heart. We'll see what this has to say. Don't look at the messages just yet. We're just using the image, and then if the message plays a role, then I'll incorporate it. So let's figure this out. I'm going to use um, Tao first for the base, and then we're going to clarify with oracles. So what's coming next in love for you? If you're in the LGBTQ plus community, this is for you. What's coming next in love? What's coming next in love for you? Oh my gosh, that's a lot, that's a lot. I'm not gonna keep them only because I wanna make sure that's not how I shuffle my cards. Okay, what's coming next in love for you? What's coming next in love for you, pal one? You chose whoever chose this, what's coming next in love for you? You got the universe, the world, what's coming next in love for you, pal one? King of Wands, what's coming next in love? You saw the King, king of Swords, right, pal one? King of Swords came out. Now we have the King of Wands. You got the Three of Cups here. What's coming next in love? And last one, Page of Cups. Okay, you got a lot of cups here. So it could be a water sign coming in. But I could be wrong. It could be the energy that they're, you know, in while the, by the time they meet you. Okay, so for you, pile number one, I feel like the person that is, you know, in the horizon, on the horizon, in your energy, coming through for you is someone who is, um... Number one, they live a far, long distance relationship or they love to travel, completing a cycle, finding out who they are, coming back home. So it could be a spiritual journey that, that they're on. Finding out who they are, coming back a whole person, coming back home, a new person. And so they're ready to let somebody in. You got the King of Wands. This person could be very attractive, very, um, like, fiery, you know, like that ambitious energy. Like, I want to go get them. I know what I want. And that's how I feel because of what they're going through. Uh, Three of Cups, they're ready to mingle. They're ready to date. They're ready to, like, just get out there. So this can be them wanting to date you, wanting to mingle with you. Want, you know, they could be dating other people by the time they meet you. And it's like, oh, my gosh, I want to put my energy into this connection, Page of Cups. It feels good, feels nice, it feels right. Let's explore this. World card, let's explore. So let's go down this adventure together. So I feel like what's coming next in love for you, um, also, there's potential for growth. There's potential for someone to lead this connection. Like if you were the person who was always leading, always initiating, always making the move, this person is totally different. You're going to be able to be like, oh my gosh, you are finally inviting me to go out to dinner? 
you are taking the reins in this connection. Oh, I like this. And so it lets you step into your whatever energy, feminine or your masculine energy, however this resonates for you, because we have both. So maybe this person's going to let you, you know, feel more at ease in your feminine energy, or maybe this person's going to make you feel at ease in your masculine energy, however this plays for you. This general. If you want a personal reading, do check me out over on Etsy. So let's now clarify. You got the Mend a Broken Heart Fairy, healing from heartache. We'll see if that plays a role. I don't know if that's something that is taking place um, in your person's world, but or it can just be the image that you wanted to choose for this reading. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to use... Oh, I'm going to use, uh, I got an indication. I'm going to use my Porcelain Dolls Love Lenormand and my Bittersweet Love Tea. This is not for the faint of heart, so if you are very triggered or sensitive to this uh, new relationship you're stepping into or what you're looking to find, what's coming to find you, then just maybe skip this part, but these cards will tell you like it is. It's not going to sugarcoat. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Um, okay, yeah, got confirmation. Okay, so yeah, if you're feeling, you know, a little sensitive right now, if you're feeling heartbroken, then just, you know, maybe fast forward this part or just click off. But I do feel this person is ready to give love. This person's feeling eager. Like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to explore this connection. Why is the universe here? Why is the universe here? Why is the world's card here? Bouquet, beauty, fulfillment, gifts. Like, like I said, didn't I say? I say I said that the whole they're coming back wholesome, complete. And now you got fulfillment. So they're coming back someone, you know, a brand new person who, who wants to enhance their life with someone new, which is you, Pa One. They want to enhance their, their life, their their heart with you. <clears throat> so I feel that they're at a place to offer love. They're, they are healed. Now it's making sense. They are healed. They are in the mend. They, are, they have learned from their past experiences, past um, uh, relationship, past you know uh, mistakes and lessons. And so now it's like, okay, now I know what I want in this new connection with you, pal one. What is the King of Wands here? See, now I can take control. Now I can take action. Before, I was the one sitting behind just letting my person walk all over me. I'm not that person anymore. Three, Empress, Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity, um, sharing love, receiving love. So this person is ready to give and receive. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Oh. King of Wands, infidelity, deceit, manipulation. What keyword are we going to use? King of Wands, manipulation. They want to take control. Now, I will tell you, it's not a, it's not a, a negative thing. It's not like a toxic control thing. It's more like, I am taking the initiative. I'm leading the way. You know, like, I, they could be stepping into their feminine, I'm sorry, their masculine, like saying, you know, I want to be the provider. I want to be the one that... I don't know, that just, that wears the steel toe boots in, in the relationship. I want to be the one that just, you know, it's protects, provides, and not provide financially, more like emotionally and, and, and physically and, and with, you know, making you feel safe in this connection. So what are we using? Manipulation, king of wands. Yeah. You know, trying to make this relationship, like, taking the lead, taking charge, initiating, pursuing, approaching, putting the work in. That's what I'm saying. So, and they could have come from a place of broken, a broke, of a broken heart, right? Infidelity, deceit, and they don't want that crap again. They learned, they're learning from that, and they have learned from that. So, they are learning, and they have learned. So... So, Three of Cups, why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here for this person? Dog, love, support, friendship. Yeah, they want, they're here to love on you, support you. Like I said, support you emotionally, support you, protect you. They're here to give this to you, Pile 3. I'm sorry, Pile 1, Three of Cups. Three of Cups just tells me, you know, they, they're looking, they're like... 
looking and looking and looking for that person, for looking for you. So you guys, they're, they're probably going to date a lot before they even find you. You guys can be dating, dating a lot of people before you guys connect. And that's how they know what they're looking for. They're going to know because they're dating all the wrong trolls. Sorry, I don't mean to say it like that, but I think I feel like whoever's breaking their heart in these other relationships, they are trolls. They're messing with your person's heart. They're learning from it. And when they come to you, they want to come to you. Lo See, loyal, loyal, friendship, dog, love, support, loyalty. They don't want this energy of being deceived or being manipulated or being controlled or they, they, you know, they're taking the reins, but they're not abusing their power. So why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Sun, victory, success, and luck. So they really, oh my gosh, they're really supporting that love. They're really ready. Look at that. Learning. Hidden truth, secret, admire. I'm surprised a lot of other things didn't come out. <laughs> that would like be like, oh my gosh, they're like, you know, because I'm over here thinking this this uh, a card was gonna come out that was gonna like spill the tea on them and you're you you were not gonna like what you heard. But I'm telling you, this person's coming from a place of healing. And they were not able to control or to take the lead in their previous relationships. They were stuck. They were walked on. They were manipulated. And now they're like, okay, so now I'm in control and I'm not gonna do what my person did to me. See, they learned from that. Learning, hidden truth. They learned how to treat the other person in the relationship. Not to abuse the power, not to control the other person, not to manipulate, not to deceive, not to whatever. So they're like, they're fixing those, like, the karmic, the, um, not the karmic, the, um, the pattern. So they don't repeat the same mistake that was done to them. So I feel that like this person is turning over a new leaf. They're ch closing chapters. You got the whole universe right here. Feeling wholesome, feeling beautiful, feeling, you know, uh, attractive again. Maybe they felt like, who's going to want me? Who's, who's going to want me? I have this and this and this, or I don't have this and this and this. But now they're like, no, I'm of, I'm of value. I'm fulfilled. My heart is full. I can't wait to give it to someone. They have a lot of cups here, by the way. All right, so now let's see what messages from their heart wants to come out. This is my, this is my jukebox love messages oracle and love on the brain by mystic, I'm sorry, by gifted soul 777. I'll have all of our links down below to where you can find our decks, including these right here. All right, so tell me more from your person's heart. What would they like to tell you if they could? For what, what's coming next in love? What can you expect? You make me happy. All right, I like that. What else? What else would they like to tell you? I am in denial. Is this too good to be true to be with you? Do I deserve you? Oh my goodness. I searched for love for so long. I've been in the wrong relationships for so long. Is this good to be true? Too good to be true. Emotions. I'm in so deep. Yeah, you got all these cups here. You even had yeah, a page of cups. What else? What was the other cups? Seven of Cups here. So, yeah, a lot of emotions here. You probably open up their heart space. They close their heart. They mend their heart. Now you you come in the picture. Money is no object. Look, I don't deserve you. Isn't that what I just said? Is this too good to be true? Do I deserve you? It's funny how it came out. I can be myself around you. Sometimes I wonder what you see in me. So, you know, they can still come to you a little jaded like feeling like oh my gosh like what if what if i'm not good enough for you pal one what if this is too good to be true what if you know they could a little be a little self sabotage <laughs> is that even a word where they feel like things are going great and then they say the wrong things because they want i don't know like a way, a way to test you to see if you would push yourself away to see if you would you know ghost you light up a room and stop the show. Everyone wants you. I'm not sure if I can keep up. Yeah, they're not feeling, they're feeling inadequate. They're feeling like, what if I'm not good enough for you? I searched for a long time to find love. I see the signs, I'm awake. Yeah, I searched a long time to find love. Did I find it with you? So that's what I have for you, Pa One. You have an amazing day. If you want any of these decks, like I said, there'll be links below, Jukebox Love. 
This is the Porcelain Dolls Love Lenormans. I have the Bittersweet um, Love Tea. This is Love on the Brain. And the Amazon decks, I will have links below as well. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for sharing. If you decide to share this with your friends, I really would appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to help us vote every single day. Bye-bye. So, pile number two for the LGBTQ plus community. What's coming next in love? What's coming next in love for you? Pile number two. What's coming next in love? What's coming next in love? What's coming next in love? You have the Justice! Awesome! What's coming next in love? You have the King of Swords. <clears throat> Hold on. This is the King or the Queen? The Queen of Swords, sorry. Queen of Swords. What's coming next in love for you, Queen of Swords? The Fool. And bottom of the deck, you have Eight of Swords. Okay. All right. Let's dive deeper. So the first thing I'm getting right now is someone who... <clears throat> they're they're going to balance your energy out. They're, they're, they're coming to you with peace, harmony, wanting to play fair. You see these people with their swords here. You got two. So fair. Fairness. I give to you. You give to me. It's not a one-sided rodeo. It's not an um, uneven relationship. It's balanced. This person is going to show you new adventures, new journey here. Spontaneity. <clears throat> this person is going to help you remove the doubt. Remove the self you know self sabotaging uh intrusive thoughts and i think because it came from this calm after mid, calm after amid i'm sorry calm amidst chaos so i feel like i don't know if you've been through some things in the past and you were you know coming from bad relationship to bad relationship to bad relationship I think this taught you a lot about yourself and your strengths and your worth <clears throat> and you realizing what you're going to tolerate, what you're not going to to tolerate, what you're going to settle, what you're not going to settle for. And that's why balance is here, justice is here. Good karma coming back. Queen of Swords, you're cutting things out. If it doesn't support your heart, if it doesn't support your your energy then you're not going to put your you're not going to put forth your all into this relationship so i feel like this person is like coming to you at the right time right when you need when you're like needing this type of relationship you know you've you've healed out you're going you're coming out of your um obstacles you're coming out of that karma is here justice is here to be you know good karma good faith uh something here trying to restore its place in your life in your heart and 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 only will this come into your life only will it come in if you cut things that don't serve you if you're in a relationship that's very toxic how can you open up <clears throat> how can you start a new journey open up your heart to a new love if you're already stuck with someone that's not you know making you happy so i think this person this new person pal two comes into your life at the right time um i think this is going to open up doors for you you're going to learn a lot you're going to stop judging yourself stop sabotaging yourself stop talking negative about yourself this is going to help you push those thoughts away <clears throat> Um, you might have some, you know, dark times, but this person's going to teach you to love yourself. Yeah, yourself unconditional. This is about self-love, and only will you, if you practice self-love, and know what your worth is, and what you will, like I said, what you will tolerate, what you will not will tolerate, what you would not, what you would not tolerate, only then will you be able to open up and receive this new kind of love that wants to come towards you. Alright, so let me clarify. I'm going to use my um, 
Better Sweet Love Tea and Porcelain Dolls Love Lenormand. These are for sale on my shop if you're interested. Outside opinions affect your love life. That could be something you're worrying about. I'll, I'll clarify. Why is this justice card here for you? Power number two. This new love coming through to you. Someone's going to show you what a balanced heart looks like, feels like. Trauma bonds, narcissism, emotional abuse. See, you're healing that. This person comes into your life and sets the scales for you. Fixes the, the, the balanced beams, the scales. <clears throat> so you're coming out of this. You see how these two people are coming. They're, they're, they look like they're coming from a toxic, negative place. That could be your past. And this person is here to offer you balance and fairness, equality, reciprocal love here. So this is like a reversal. Coming in here. So that's interesting. The yellow up top. You learning your personal power. You coming from a place of empowerment, self-worth. You knowing what you're looking for in a relationship and you will not settle for less than that. Why is this Queen of Swords here for this new love coming in for you? Queen of Swords. Someone's very direct with you. And someone can be teaching you how to be more direct. Like, what do you want? Tell me, pal, too. Don't beat around the bush. Don't shy away. Don't don't feel like I can't take the truth. Just tell me what you want. You know, you standing assertive with conviction. And them doing the same. Like, they're not going to sugarcoat anything. They're going to tell you directly what they're looking for in a connection. Why is it here? Comparing yourself diminishes your beauty. Why is the Queen of Swords here? You could be feeling like... I don't know, like so, more self-sabotaging here. Like you feeling like, you know, this person might come to you with more peace, forgiveness in their heart. And maybe you're comparing, you're saying, well, you look like you're open to love. You look like you're ready for a new relationship. You look like you're, you made peace with the past. Justice came for you, but what if I'm not healed enough for you? Like, you can be having, you know, all types of intrusive, self-sabotaging, self-limiting thoughts like we have here with the Eight of Swords. So you could be still going through your, you know, your trauma bonds or your, um, you know, hardships from the past. And so you're bringing, in, bringing it into this new relationship, how to, and this person might help you heal that out or help you work through it. Queen of Swords, you know, maybe they're triggering you. And you're realizing what you need to still work on. And that's the lesson that we're, we're dealing with, we're talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. So by being with this person, they might unlock a lot of triggers and vulnerabilities out of you. And it could be because that's part of the journey. Fool. Now, what this reminds me of is you coming out of a karmic relationship into a twin flame journey or soulmate journey but don't quote me on that i'm not an expert on twin flames karmics or soulmate connections even though i do have my personal experiences on all three but i'm still not going to go from that energy because i still am learning but you need to do more research on this whole spiritual journey that you're on because this person could be a significant part of your journey Someone's going to, you know, they're going to reflect back on the things that you need to work on. So what does that remind you of? I can tell you what I think. Twin flames. Cough, cough. <clears throat> but like I said, do your own research. Do your own research. What is a twin flame journey like? It's not an easy cakewalk. Okay, so why is the full card here? Why is the full card here why is the full card here for this new relationship coming in a spiritual awakening is affecting you both see this is <laughs> this is a soul connection i'm telling you this person's coming here to walk the same walk as you two different bodies maybe one soul or two different bodies two souls but you guys are walking the same path together that's why you're meeting that's why you're coming across one another at this time, at this time and uh, uh, point and point of your life, they feel protective over you. The Queen of Swords, the Justice here. Okay, then you have dating, gossip, and communication. The Queen of Swords is a there's a lot of talk there with the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of communicating. Absolutely, 
All right, so that's what I'm getting for that, pal one. Um, <clears throat> let's see what other messages want to come through. So this is my 53 Shades of Love Oracle, also for sale, like these cards right here. They're in my shop, eBay and Etsy. Let's see. What What is this person bringing to the table when they come to you? Pal number two. What, are this, what is this person bringing to you to the table? Grow old love. There you go, there you go. Soulmate love, seductive love. Okay, friend, that's interesting. That's in, look complicated. Like I said, it's not an easy cakewalk. Just like the fool, you don't know where the fool's gonna land once it goes off the cliff. You don't know if it's gonna land in water, or if the person has a, sh a parachute. You guys don't know. Who knows if you guys have a parachute in this relationship? What is the safety net? What is the, the code word? What is what is the future going to look like? We don't know that. That's for you guys to work through. But look at that. Grow old. Soulmate. So this can be, like I said, a soul tie. A soul connection, friend. You having a spiritual awakening. Judgment Day is here. Justice is close enough. With, oh my gosh, with the king or queen of swords. Justice with the queen or king of swords. That's judgment. So awakening here. So that's what I have for you. This new relationship coming through is going to teach you lessons. It's going to help you close out karmic cycles. You might end up spending a lot of your years with this person, growing old together. Um, you guys are very attracted to each other. A lot of good conversations. This person helping you expand your mind. Eight of Swords. Push back those negative thoughts. Start thinking positively. Start opening your eyes to possibilities. Start helping you think outside of the box. Um, as far as spirituality, as far as, you know, what you want out of life, as far as what you want in relationships, this person is really going to be an essential part of your growth. And I, I think it's like a mirrored thing. You're going to help them grow as well. So that's what I have for you, pal number two. If this uh, mirrors or this uh, reflect, if this kind of like, you know, re resonates with you, even a portion of it, let me know in the comments. And if you want a personal reading, I do have them over on my Etsy shop. All the links will be down below to our decks, and I'll catch you in the next video. This deck is retiring. You won't see this any longer. Grab yours before it's off the shelves. Take care. I'm going to head on to pile number three. Here we go. Pile number, oop, pile number three, you chose 13. I am Kali. We'll see what that means for you. So, thank you so much for being here. If you're new, please subscribe, and I thank you for coming back. If you are not new... Please share this video so we can welcome more friends to this family. I really would appreciate it. It helps me grow in this uh, community. And I, I, I really do appreciate it. So sending you mega love. You got the Wheel of Fortune. We'll see if that comes out again. If it's meant to stay, it will come out. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. So pile number three. Tell me more about what's coming next in love for you. What's coming next in love. T tell me what it's like. Tell me what you are... Loving about being part of the LGBTQ plus community. Let me know. You have Ace of Cups. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. What's coming next in love for you? What's coming next in love for you? Ace of Cups. Eight of Wands. Tell me what's coming next in love for you. Nine of Wands. What's coming next in love for you? Power number three. Oh, there we go. Bingo. The Hermit too. Hmm, the Hermit. The Hermit tells me this is somebody that you probably don't know just yet. Or it can be an earth sign. We have that Virgo energy. Or it could be somebody who mirrors your inner self. Like someone who's like you. Like maybe if you're an introvert, maybe this person resembles part of your introvertedness. And that's probably something that you have in common. But we'll see if that comes out again. So um, I, I think that you're going to be very fortunate in this, this connection. The Wheel of Fortune did come out. you got like three major arcanas now. You have the, the Lovers, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. And then you have the Kali here. So this, kind, this resembles, you know, transformation, death, transformation, new cycles, ending old ones, starting a new one. From death comes rebirth. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so we have Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Lovers. So this could be a fire sign with water. Um, you know what? Don't hold me to those things because I do see air as well. I see air, I see fire, I see water. And I, yeah, water. These two, water, Death, Scorpio, Ace of Cups, Fire, Fire, Air, 
and then we have Earth. So don't hold me to that. They can be any sign under the sun. Um, I will tell you what energy they're operating in mostly though. Okay, so for, for starters, I feel that this is a new connection. I don't think you've met them yet. That's for some of you. This is a collective reading. For others of you, you probably are just getting to know them. Like you just met them like not too long ago and it's still brand new. Things are going to start picking up. Things are going to get intense. Things are going to cause you guys to push back a little bit. This, this connection is going to change you. You're going to show, you're going to uh, figure out your self-worth. You're going to figure, figure out boundaries as well in this connection. Pushing back, setting healthy boundaries. Um, some of you are coming out of a codependent relationship. And this new relationship is going to teach you strength and independence. This connection is going to be a very spiritual one. Death, rebirth, lovers. So I will say that this connection is part of your, your, your evolution, your spiritual growth. Like you guys were meant to meet for a reason. Um, you guys are going to have great healthy conversations, deep conversations. Um, things are going to make you feel cringy a little bit, but those are the things you need to work on, work through. You're not going to be doing surface talks at all. This is deep, deep, hearty, meaty conversations. Well, it's going to keep you, it's going to make you feel like you should be on the defense here. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, you're going to put your walls up a little bit. But this person's just trying to get to know you, the real you, not the, the lipstick or tuxedo you, the actual you behind the tuxedo and the lipstick and the gloss and the nail polish and all that stuff. The material stuff, behind all the jewelry. This person is really going to dive deeper. Alright, so why is the Ace of Cups here? I'm using my Porcelain Dolls Love Lenormand and Bittersweet Love Decks. Thanks to Jasmine Becker Griffith who gave us permission. These links are for sale in my shops, eBay and Etsy. Links are below. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? You know what? I want to I want to know what the death card is about. Why is this death card? This person might help you transform. Learn about things that you need to heal out, close out, so you can begin forming new, thicker skin. Why is the death card here for you? For this person coming into your life, giving you love. Child, fresh start, innocence, young love. So you starting a new journey. You... This teaching you, this is like a, a rebirth, yeah, young love. You're having a new chance of love. New beginning. Just like you're born again. Bouquet, beauty fulfillment. So yeah, I feel like this person's going to see your beauty. They can be very attractive. But they're also di diving deeper into your soul. Not just the surface, like I said. Ace of Cups, that's like the very beginning, that's like the overflow, like you feeling something, this person triggering your heart to flow it out. Moon, attraction, chemistry, hidden emotions, yeah, it's flowing out. Ace of Cups is coming out. I'm coming out, I want the world to know, gotta let it show. Like seriously, the floodgates are open with this person. The moon, wow, I love it. Deep attachment, hidden emotions. It's no longer hidden. That's coming to an end. I don't know if you were like on guard, on defense in the past. You might feel that way still. This person changes that for you. Kali. You got the heart wants what it wants. Yeah, your heart is going to be poureth over. Poor thing overing. Let me stop. Seriously, why is the eight of wands here? It might take off fast. You might fall head over heels, be swept off your feet. Connect concerns about money affect your love life. You could be having, you know, different concerns about materialistic stuff. Getting in the way, clouding your judgment. Don't let that be part of your journey. Hold on. Don't let that be part of the, 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 the relationship. Don't let money get in between. Uh, separate pleasure and profit. Separate, you know... Mixing business with pleasure, you know, separate that. Don't let that be part of the, the headaches. If that's what you need to hear, Pearl 3, your person can only offer the bare minimum. So, yes, yeah, someone's on defense, someone's on guard, so they have their wall up. So they can't get through if your wall is way up. So they can only offer you a little bit 
through the cracks of your wall on your heart. So you could, that's you figuring out if you can open your heart to this person, slowly but surely let your guard down. Then they will be able to offer you more. So, yeah, resistance. You know, like let's say you try to offer help to somebody, but they're not letting you come through the door. Then what are you supposed to do? Oh, I'll know. I know. I'll put a little note through the mail slot. <laughs> that's the bare minimum. That's the only thing I can give you. Because <clears throat> you won't open the door. So they, they're figuring out how to get through the crack of your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Why is the lovers here? They want to give to you more. This can be you also. I can only receive the bare minimum. I can't receive your full love because I'm still hurt. I'm still on guard. And if, if so, if this is the case. I can see you guys opening things up. As you guys progress, as you guys get to know each other, build trust. Why is the lover's card here? Pile number three. Why is the lover's card here? Soul connection. Open hearts. Significance. Relationships. See what I'm saying, friend? You see, and then you have, look, religious beliefs, tradition, convention, spiritual guidance. This could be a spiritual connection you both share. Hierophant. <coughs> Excuse me. So when, whenever I clear my throat or, my, yeah, whenever I feel like my throat's being activated, it's because messages are, are being filtered through and they're also making more sense. My intuition's, um, yeah, vibing with the energy. So that's how you know I'm on track when I ever, whenever I, hear, I clear my throat, that's how you know. Anyway, <clears throat> soul connection, open heart. That's what I said. The floodgates are opening. Nine of wands. It's going to turn to the eight of wands. Then the seven of wands and the six of wands. And the, yes, so... It's it's like something's formulating in, with this connection, or it's going to, if you haven't met this yet, person already. And this is going to be a significant relationship. It's not going to be just someone that you get together with once a month uh, just for, for kicks. It, this is something that's going to be very, very strong and reciprocal. And you guys are going to pour into each other. Soul connection with the Hierophant. See, that's a spiritual thing. That's a spiritual um, relationship here. Open heart. Oh my gosh, I love that. And significance. Something of significance. All right, so let's see. Let's see what other things I want to pour out for this reading. Anything else want to come through? Anything else? All right, I'm going to use my um, <clears throat> Wishes Oracle, my Princess Love Dreams Oracle and my Lavender Love Dreams Oracles. These are all for sale also on my Etsy and eBay shops. Tell me more. Pile number three, what love is coming next for you? Pile three, what love is coming next for you? What type of love? Tell me more about the, whatever here is on the table. Whatever's on the table here. So you're starting with death and transformation, right? A rebirth. And now you have it again. Death, transformation, rebirth, butterflies. Starting, ending. You got freedom. All right. Freedom. You're coming out of something. See how she's opening her heart. She's ready for her art to be active, heart to be activated. So you're like ready for love and this person's ready to give it. But someone's still a little, you know, like, oh, let me hold on. Let me hold on to my heart a little bit. But I'm still opening up to you. I just have to do it slowly but surely. Memorable impression and influence. So you, you make an impact on your person and your person makes an impact on you. Pal number three. Yeah, they're going to teach you to stand on your own two feet. They're going to help you grow. You're going to help them grow. You're going to impact them, influence them. Family, soul family. Maybe you guys have some kind of soul connection, like I said. Oh my gosh, strength. You get, Yes, you're going to learn strength with this person. Clock tower, measurement of time expectation. So it's just a matter of time before this person comes to you. Treasure chest, spiritual gifts, valuable assets. So I can see you guys really being like so important for, to, to each other's growth. You're going to teach each other so many lessons. This is a spiritual growth here. Spiritual gifts, the lovers, that's, those are soulmates here. You have soul connection. You got the higher fit. So you're meeting, you're in alignment or you're going to be in alignment with your soul, your soul's counterpart. Um, if you haven't met them already. If you have not met them already, you're, you're positioning yourself. Like you're going through your tower moments. See the tower, the, the, the 
thunder, lightning. You're going through your rebirth here. And it's going to help pave the way and clean up the debris to help welcome in new love. And you're clapping back. You're like, I'm done. Goodbye to the old people that don't serve you. To the old ways of thinking. You're stepping more into your divine connection here. It's like you're manifesting this. This is what your heart is wanting. The heart wants what it wants. It's attracting what it's desiring, what it's needing, what's, what it's been longing for. But I think the essential piece to this is growth and healing because you want to open up more, nine of wands. You want to open up. You want to open up the floodgates a little bit more. You want to open up the doors. Um, you want to knock and say, have somebody say yes and then have them open up to you, you know, vice versa. Yeah, open up like a treasure chest. So, you know, but I would say um, make sure you feel safe enough to open up your heart, open up your arms. Um, if you feel like there's red flags, then pay attention to those red flags and close up, close up shop. But if you feel there's a little bit of leeway to go with, to work with, then, you know, open up slowly but surely. Let the person in a little bit. And, uh, and if, they can, if you can trust them with your heart, then, you know, you proceed cautiously. Just do things in a cautious manner. Don't rush. Don't be like the eight of wands and rush into falling in love and getting married. Like really slowly and cautiously tread water or, you know, wade through the water. Get to know this person. All right. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. You have a beautiful day. If this resonates, then I would love to hear all about it. Well, you can just tell me number three. You don't have to tell me your whole life story. That's private. But do keep... I will keep you in mind if you put your emoji in the comments for future readings. And if you want any of our decks, wishes, princess love dreams, bittersweet love messages, love Lenormand, and lavender love dreams, all the decks will be down in my description box. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your season.